Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing the number one key to a man's love and commitment. I hear from women all the time who are struggling to move from a casual dating situation with a man all the way into a serious committed relationship or even a lifelong commitment and marriage if that's what they want from their man. So hopefully this video will help you out if you're at that place. A lot of women I hear from don't have a problem attracting men, but the men they want never really take the relationship to the next level. It's such a common situation. So if you're going through this right now, just know you're not alone and hopefully this video will help you out. But before I get started, if this is your first time to my channel, be sure to click the button to subscribe to get all of my videos on how how to attract the man you want and create an amazing relationship with him that lasts. So let's get started. Commitment is such an important topic. It's something that a lot of women out there are struggling with. I actually did a whole program just on this called The Art of Getting the Commitment You Want, which is seven steps to get that lifelong committed relationship you've always desired. And what I want to talk about in this video today is step four, for those of you following along in that program, which is creating a deep heart to heart connection with a man. That's truly the key to a man's love and commitment. So I'll say it again, it's creating a deep heart to heart connection. If you're trying to inspire a man's love and commitment by connecting with him physically, like through sex and getting closer that way, or mentally by maybe talking with him for hours on end. Those things are nice. You know, having a physical connection with a man and a mental connection, those are great things. And you're likely going to have those things with the man that you end up with. Uh, but those are not what create this desire in a man to commit to you forever. The only way to create this desire within a man is through a deep heart to heart connection. So again, if you're trying to get the commitment you want through one of these other ways, like physically or mentally connecting with a man, what will typically happen is you're going to fall in love and get really attached. You know, for example, like when you sleep with a guy or your oxytocin kicks in and you feel really bonded. And the man, you know, men can have great sexual relationships with women and great mental connections and not really feel like things are moving towards a committed relationship. So it's really, really important to understand this concept and exactly how to do it. So how do you create this deep heart to heart connection with a man? I always say the way to connect with a man's heart is always through your own heart first. If you're up in your head strategizing or trying to create some kind of connection when you're coming from a place of lack or coming from your masculine energy, like trying to make something happen in the relationship or make a guy commit to you, if you're at that place, it's kind of a losing game. You have to go about it a different way. You have to connect with your own heart and your own feminine energy first and then express yourself from your heart and from that authentic place. That's what creates this heart to heart connection with a man. And you do that by getting in touch with your feelings and expressing those feelings to a man in a way that really brings him closer and inspires him to want to like take care of your feelings and be there for you. I created a video called how to connect deeply with a man's heart. So he falls for you. So if you want to learn exactly how to open up emotionally to a man in a way that really brings him closer, that's a great place to start. If you're interested in that video, let me know in the comment section and I will include a link to that if you want specific step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to open up emotionally to a man. But that's one way by expressing your feelings, getting in touch with your feminine energy, getting out of your head and into your body. And another way to connect deeply with a man's heart is to really create good feeling experiences with him one moment at a time, rather than going up in your head and worrying about the future or initiating conversations about the relationship endlessly. I always suggest rather than talking about the relationship with a man, try creating the relationship and just creating these really good feeling moments with him 
just minute by minute, getting right down into the present moment rather than worrying about the past or fast forwarding uh, to the future and getting ahead of yourself. Um, if you need help with that, I have a video called A Powerful Tool to Shift You Into Your Feminine Energy and Make You Irresistible to Men. So again, if you're interested in exactly how to do that, let me know and I can include um, a link to that video as well. But for the purposes of this video, just think of yourself as really creating this connection with him rather than talking about the relationship or focusing too much on the commitment itself. This is where it's kind of counterintuitive. A lot of women are just so focused on getting that commitment, you know, getting that engagement ring or setting a date for the wedding, wherever you are in your relationship. If you're so focused on the commitment, you might be ignoring what is really the most powerful, valuable asset in your relationship, and that is the connection you have with a man. If you're just so focused on the finish line and, and getting that, that label, like becoming his girlfriend or wife, you might be actually starving the connection. And the, the truth is a man's not going to commit to someone where that connection isn't in place, where there's nothing for him to really commit to. There's no foundation of that deep heart-to-heart -heart connection and bond. So if you can kind of take your focus off of that finish line or that commitment for now and put that focus on the only thing that really matters in the relationship for the most part, which is the connection that he feels for you and that you feel for him, then you're going about it the right way. When you get this connection happening with a man, it's like he feels this urge to commit to you all on his own without any prompting or pushing on your end. It's very important. You don't want to be way down uh, the line ahead of a man on what I call your relationship roadmap. If a man's back here and you're all the way over here ahead of him trying to like pull him along and get him to commit to you, you've already kind of lost the game, right? Not that it's a game or a strategy, but this has to be totally authentic. So you want the man to be the one bringing up conversations about the relationship for the most part and basically trying to get you to commit to him it's just such an easier way to go about it when you kind of learn how to do this correctly and it all starts with focusing on the connection that you have with the man not on the commitment itself because when you have the connection happening the commitment just falls into place and it's just the most effortless thing in the world it's very very uh, important to to uh, keep this in mind so to recap, in order to do that, you want to connect with a man's heart, and you do that by connecting with your own heart first, your own feminine energy, and your, you know, what's going on with you and your body and emotionally, and expressing that to a man in a way that doesn't make him wrong or push him away or hold him responsible for your feelings. And you also create the connection by really um, creating good feeling experiences and moments with a man, one day at a time or one moment at a time, rather than getting ahead of yourself and talking about the relationship. So rather than talking endlessly about things, focus on creating the relationship and these really good feeling moments with him. Then everything else will take care of itself. So I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section. I always love hearing from you. And if you're looking to attract the man you want and inspire his love and commitment, check out my three keys to attract the man you want report and audio training. It's free on my website, helenaheartcoaching.com. I'll post a link to that in the description of this video. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.